to be told that I am not supposed to judge a woman on her looks when they spend thousands of dollars on their looks. They are playing a game of hopscotch and telling you every square you jump in, you're wrong. And if you listen to them, you're going to go crazy, which is why men kill themselves at a higher rate and at a younger age than women ever will because they got somebody that's going to always prop them up. Fathers don't sit up there and make their sons. There was a guy who came on my show named Philip Buchanan. He said when he got drafted, I remember this. Number one, you remember that? Yeah. He got drafted by the, uh, the the Raiders. On draft day, he was the number one pick. His mom sent him a bill for a million dollars. What? Oh, she yes. Said, this is oh, how yes. much it cost me to raise you. That's right. Oh, wow. Archie Manning ain't looking for Eli to buy him a house. There's no black men, as soon as they get drafted, it's the first thing they say they're going to buy their mama. A house. House. Always mama, but daddy don't get a benefit out of this. <laughs> well, niggas ain't shit, Tommy. You no, exactly. Know? So, so what I'm saying, but if a dude was sitting no, around saying, true. I need you to buy me a house, we say, dude, that's that, that, that child did that. You're supposed to let that child live off of what they did. You, you, they didn't ask to be here. No child has to be here. We bring them here out of our own selfish nature. So why do we feel like when they get 18, they owe us something? Do you know how many black girls have come on my show and told me that between the ages of 13 and 17, not only have they been molested and or great, oh my God. but they were kicked out of their homes yeah. because they were treated horribly by their mothers, wow. and yet they still deified their mothers. But they can say they daddy who missed a child support payment ain't shit. And nobody will ever get mad at somebody for publicly saying, my dad ain't shit. Yours ain't either. Girl, mine ain't either. But if you say your mom ain't shit, no matter what she did, they'll say, but she still gave you life. <laughs> That's true. So this is a problem. Men are used to being told, judged on what they have done. And I'm not, now, not, I'm not complaining about that. No, I'm not, I'm right, not right, complaining. Right, 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 That's right, what yeah. I was saying. I was trying to point out to her. It's just a difference in the way people accept it. Yeah. So that's why women are constantly arguing things that are true because they'll say how they feel. Stop talking about how you feel when it comes to things that are affecting children and your lineage. Your feelings don't matter. That's why I had the FYF on my shirt. Fuck yo feelings because your feelings aren't feeding your kids your feelings aren't feeding them emotionally they're not feeding them mentally and they're damn sure not protecting them so if you want to know what it is that women expect and men expect right now i think what we all are looking for is someone to encourage us to be better and someone accepts when we fail yeah i feel like you're right tommy that's true um, and I want to say this I don't get a that. merch. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Uh, Chris wasn't at the mic. Um, but I will, all right, all I will right. say this real quick because uh, Tommy, what you said was uh, very true. And yeah. um, Apropos, I, I, I have this written down here because I think this is so important. Um, I, a lot of a lot of modern day women I've come to realize think that the truth is relative, but the reality oh God, is yes. appreciation of the truth is relative. Yeah, Ooh. because we live because we have a limited perspective when a truth is observed. Based on where we are in life, right? Mm -hmm. The truth is objective, but your perception of said truth is relative. But instead, what do we say? We say the truth is relative, and worse yet, we believe everyone's truth is relative and equally valid, which is absurd. My truth, mm. right? There when people no say yeah. my, my truth, truth. My it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. there is. You notice that's a woman thing. Yes. Women love to say it's my truth. The entire podcast, I've been listening very closely. All of you have been referencing your own. Tommy states a fact. Then you guys come back with your own personal observation of something that might not necessarily reflect reality. It might reflect what happens in your life, but that does not necessarily reflect the entire the general, reality. The collective. You know what I'm saying? So you can say, this is my experience, and that's not always true, and there's an exception to the rule, and I know this girl that does this and this girl that does that. But Tommy gave you guys cold hard facts. You know what I'm saying? As far as 88%. Of black men are married to black women. It's not as bad as you guys say, as far as like you know, black men chasing after a ca uh, Caucasian women and Hispanic women. A small minority of men actually date outside their race. The large majority actually date within their race, but no one acknowledges that, you know. And then what did everyone say? Well, no, that's not true because blah blah blah. And it's like, what? He just gave you a statistical fact. There's there's no arguing here. But you guys are arguing from a point of this is what I've seen. This is what I think. I'm just this is this is my truth, and that's ridiculous. Yeah. There is no my fucking truth. It's that's what happens in your experience, but that does not necessarily mean that it is the truth. Your appreciation of the truth is relative. And a lot of you guys, I'll be honest, don't appreciate the truth. 
<laughs> which is why you guys have been getting triggered all night. And I've been having to stop everyone from yelling at each other. But uh, it's been great to watch. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I want to apologize apologize for, for this. I'm I got to apologize, man. I, well, I apologize for this part. I'm passionate because I'm raising little black girls, and I would love to be in a marriage with a black woman and build with that black woman. Mm. So I would be like the guy who's coaching a team who wants them to win a championship. That coach is not going to be nice to his players if they're fucking up. And the fact that black women aren't used to being in these competitive situations, they will then say, you're being mean. You hate us. No, because if you Asian had a doll. father in your <laughs> life, you know what your father would be? <laughs> Just as hard on you. And you will realize it when you become an adult. He was hard on me because he loved me. Because the nigga that listened to everything you say and just said, then mm -hmm. he trying to get what he can get and get out. That's so Facts. true. Yep. We, we, I think one of the, the, if women could take one thing from this pod, guys will lie to you and say whatever you want to hear. Mm -hmm. to get I've done it. Oh, yes. I've this done is it why before, it's yeah. so important for women. <laughs> like, this is why dad is so important. But women think, oh, yeah, my, my, you know, he just pays bills and he's just a warm body that sits on the couch and watches football on Sundays. No, your dad is going to tell you the realities about how men really think. Why? Because most of the time, unless she's a sicko, he's not trying to bang you. He's trying to protect you from the weirdos out there that are trying to bang you and get sex from yep. you. Your dad, honestly, is your first line of defense. Your dad, your brother, your uncle, assuming you come from a regular family, not, you know, I'm sorry for your situation. But it's all right. they're supposed to be the first line of defense to keep you from making poor mating decisions and dealing with men that ain't shit, as we would say. It's all right. Because your dad, if he's doing his job right, is going to make sure he finds you a husband that's going to stand the test of time. He's going to find a guy. He doesn't give a fuck about Pookie and Ray Ray being attractive and, you know, being mm -hmm. badass. No, he's going to find fucking We don't Tom care that he got swag. The, the man protector. will not pick a woman yeah. for a man for his daughter who got swag. And the and, and ladies, if y'all learn nothing else from being around me, because you probably won't want to be around me ever again, but I want you <laughs> to I want y'all to eat this, seriously. Your most important job you will ever have in life is who you reproduce with. Yeah. It's your most important job. That's fuck me, fuck everything I'm saying. Make sure that you don't go on Instagram talking about my baby dad ain't shit, but I'm holding it down by myself. <laughs> it's too many of y'all saying that, mm -hmm. which lets you know if you're in a situation like the young lady. The problem was the man your mother picked. That your yeah. mother picked. Thought and I, it wasn't well, even her I fault. Tell you, I can tell you, throughout my life, my childhood was horrible, but God gifted me with good fucking baby daddies i can't i can't talk shit about none of them okay like they both hold it down they do their job and they're good well, you said they don't give you a dime but because i don't ask for it mm -hmm. oh i was about to say well, well, but why don't you ask for any anything because uh, listen i'm not on child support at all do you know why you want to know why Because the women i, I, I was raised up are also caribbean and they said because i sat down and had a conversation with them we don't. you take me to court you're gonna get a certain check and that's all I'm giving you. Right. But if you don't, then I'm going to treat you a lot better. Now, they got houses. <laughs> they got cars. They fine. That's and then, you if you go on the smart. internet, you can't find them saying shit bad about me. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and many niggas ask, how the fuck did he pull this off? Yeah. Because if you at least make sure that who you're with is a worthwhile motherfucker that you won't be embarrassed by. We don't have to all get married. I'm not I mean, trying to like that right all. before the show, me and her were talking, and she told me an exact thing. Like, damn, you secured your bag. And it's not. It's not about me securing my bag. Is that I make sure like the the guys I had kids with. Yeah, I had kids with I had with two different men, but the first one was my the guy I lost my virginity to, and then the second one was just. Did you ever find it? The, well, my oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't. I did he ain't not. giving it back. <laughs> he, he didn't give it back. He gave me a baby instead. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, all of it, it's true. It's it's really really true. Like all you're saying, and I I from this because we can keep a village. Yeah. And again, as a Panamanian. Our shit was different. Like when Granddaddy died, it was a bunch of bitches came out of nowhere. With babies <laughs> Yo, and yeah, right? the funeral and shit. <laughs> yeah, so and you find out your cousin was named just like the side bitch. <laughs> right, like, so it was different. But what we're trying to say is, <laughs> we know how important we know how important structure is. That's why I said I actually do better with intelligent, educated women because them hoes used to hearing somebody tell them what to do and taking tests. Yep. So I know they like structure. 
So what I do is talk to them like a professor or a coach. Now, a lot of guys can't talk to them, and I understand why they can't. But the reason why it works for me is because I just give them a curriculum, and they are used to following a curriculum. But if you could just say, these children are more important than our fucking beef, our petty bullshit, that's a start. So it doesn't make you a horrible person that you had these kids out of wedlock and all this shit. But once you do, if it stops being about the kid, then I think both y'all ain't shit. Mm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Okay. Big facts. All right. Uh, but then uh, <laughs> Donovan and uh, Tommy, what are your thoughts on what women want versus what men want? Yeah, I, I gave my yeah, take he already. Gave his uh, women want yeah, women want security and to feel safe oh, and all that good stuff. Tommy, did you give yours? I did. Yeah, okay. he did. So yeah, we we flew through it. Okay, so that, that means fast. you didn't pay enough no attention. You don't oh, give a shit. You just late. <laughs> Don't go crazy, man. Hey, I'll oh, focus shit. on that. All right. Come on, you stupid. All right, thanks, Chris. <laughs> uh, Leon 2792. My Hispanic family and relatives came to the U.S. to succeed since they know. Oh, no, we're reading 15 of Chris. Oh, okay. Tyrone Henry. Before. My name is Tyrone. I'm white. Look back far enough, and we all come from Africa. Team human. Tyrone and white guy? Oh, shit. Yeah, there right. are white Tyrones in Canada. And then, uh, we got you our boy Tyrone was a. Tyrone's an English name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we back. Nina, I'll be in Miami next weekend. I have your birthday gift. Keep leaning from the front, gentlemen. Okay. All right. He's, he's going to take he's gonna take her on a date, probably. The pineapple. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then, uh, okay, Jay Martin. Fresh, 98%. Uh, Coca, 2% stutter. Kidding with you, buddy. Sorry to hear about your mom. Much love. Okay? Thanks, man. Uh, the cat daddy. I'm a black dad of a beautiful daughter engaged to her black mom. If I find it so funny that the black girls are like, let's talk about sex. Tommy made so many great points. They would prefer to be sexualized than talk about the problems. Oh, shit. I <laughs> mean, men sexualize women all the time. So. Women sexualize themselves, sweetheart. Sex. Okay, but we've if been sexualized for the cups. What else? Yeah. Called. Nobody forces Cabernet. you to. name. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Bella blame Quest. the industry. If I get okay. pulled over with, with, with a key uh, full of dope in my car, and I tell the officer, well, you know, these people in the other city wanted the dope, I'm still going to get run in for possession. So, miss me with that. I model. I do a lot of... Uh, stuff and, and my man is happy so I, that made you I'm glad he is that's like me saying I sleep with a man because there's a lot of gays in it it's all good man I'm not worried about it <laughs> like, alright I don't have a mind of my own that I can say I don't want to do this okay alright move it on forward you have anything to say back to that or no no I'm gonna talk alright yeah. all right. All right, Desmond Montgomery you missed it but it's fine I know that marriage is a bad idea I'm only getting married to have kids sex religion and legal purpose other than that, I wouldn't. Ah, uh, bro. Man, you, you, you rationalize in your you stupidity you right now, marriage, bro. bro. You can do that shit without marriage, bro. And that tax yeah. benefit is not worth the no, risk. No, it's taking. not. Nope. Yo, it's amazing how guys will make a dumbass decision and, like, try to rationalize it with, like, shit that. Imagine that. But, but I will say, marriage is for broke niggas. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a broke nigga, get married. Get married. Yep. yep. Yeah, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> you gotta get married. Uh, Captain Teabag, 20 bucks. We came a long way, Mark. Went from roasting <laughs> Vegito to roasting hair debating with 304s. Thank you, man. Losing hair. Uh, Lord Ill, that's my old Xbox Live name. Uh, the lady next to Fit is a type of woman my Haitian mother warned me about. You may be Haitian, but you've been Western.